Right, this is the back of the traction engine. Horn plates, spectacle plates, the wheels, the third shaft gears and everything's done on there. There's still got to be the second shaft which has got more gears on it. And then the crankshaft. So there's still a lot of work to be done on there. And this is the front of the traction engine. This is what I started back in August 19. I started with the wheels. Then the smoke box, the generator, which is all working. So when you've got both parts together, they're looking good. But there's something missing in the middle. So I think it's about time I introduce the boiler. I'm afraid I haven't got any videos of that, but I got some photos. Right, here we have some of the boiler parts. The round one with the holes in is the smoke box end tube plate. The other one with the holes in is the firebox end tube plate. Then you have the tubes which run from the firebox tube plate to the smoke box tube plate. Here we have the firebox tube plate and tubes jigged up ready for silver soldering with plenty of flux. Here you can see the 12 tubes have been silver soldered. Loads of silver solder around each end. And here is the firebox tube plate and tubes cleaned up after silver soldering. Here is the boiler set up on the bench being held together with a few self tapping screws which allowed for the copper stays to be fitted through the internal and external skins of the boiler. Here you can see the inside of the fire box after the boiler has been fully silver soldered. Right, and here we have the full boiler. There's the smoke box tube end. Fire door end. There will be a uh, water gauge. Then there'll be a fire door to open and close there. And a drain plug there. This now has got to be fitted in between the horn plates and then this end will fit into the smoke box end. There's still some work to be done on it. I've got a strap there as well. When this is fitted here will be a belly tank and this will help support the front of the belly tank. So let's try and get it jigged in between the two parts. Right, so here we got the boiler jigged up. So it's looking good. So on here, somewhere around there, is the waste shaft bracket. It's got to fit on. Somewhere around there. And then also round here. Somewhere round there. 
need a cylinder block. There's still a lot of uh, work to do on it. It's starting to look good. Now it looks like a traction engine. So what I've got to do here is line these holes up and drill those. Once I get this back end fitted on the horn plates, the spectacle plates then have to be marked and have some bushes put in here for the fixings. And then once that's fitted, then from the center of the uh, crankshaft, you've got a measurement for the waste shaft, the exact measurement and then from the centre of the crankshaft again you've got a measurement to a measurement on the actual cylinder block. Also here I've got to make a spacer ring that goes between the boiler and the smoke box. What that allows for then will be the lagging which goes on before the wrapper and I've marked here somewhere around here there would have been an inspection hole they call a mud door I decided not to cut the hole in the boiler so that there's less chance of me having a leak around there what I'll do is I'll make and solder on a dummy inspection door So I've also cut the um, tender sides. It's only placed in there that there'd be a water tank under there on the lower part. So all those holes have got to be drilled, riveted. That would be a entry point for the driver if it was a full size one. It's good. I'm happy with how this is turning out. So the first thing then, get the horn plates fitted and get these bushes soldered in. So please subscribe to my channel and join me as I build a two inch scale Fowler Showman's traction engine.